Hey guys, it's Ash, and welcome to my 15th episode of my Road to Max Town Hall 9 in Heroes. I know it's been a long time since the last time I uploaded an episode, uh, but due to my limited time, it's been very tough managing more than one account. So I took a break from farming on this account and instead try out wars with the level of heroes I have. And I've been doing a lot of wars lately on this account, but haven't had the time to farm. As you can see from all the builders uh, that are idle, I began this journey with the intention of keeping both of my heroes on upgrade at the same time and have done so and was able to get my level 25 Archer Queen and level 24 Barbarian King in a short period of time. Uh, so starting now, I'm going, to st I'm going to do my best to upgrade both of them at the same time and get them to level 30 as soon as possible and also continue to max out my Town Hall 9 base. Also, I've told you guys that this account is gem free. I've never bought gems on this account. I also told you guys that I wouldn't be boosting my barracks on this account either. But I'm going to break that promise from this episode and onward with all the gems that I've saved up through cutting trees and gem boxes. But I'm going to continue to not buy any gems. So why am I going to start boosting my barracks? Well, this will allow me to now do more raids and have more content for my videos with the limited free time that I have. Also, another benefit of boosting is that I can now do and record live raids as, as I can expect a full army ready quickly. Not only that, these live raids will give you guys a true sense of my th thought processes while attacking and breaking down a certain base. And that's not all. I'm now going to start mixing up my attacks, meaning I'm going to be using a lot of different army compositions to farm with. So you guys get a good idea of all the great and different attack strategies for farming Dark Elixir. Uh, there isn't just one good attack strategy, there are many. So hopefully you guys like these changes and continue to follow me on my epic quest. Okay, here we have a Town Hall 8 base uh, providing me with 1700 Dark Elixir. And it only took me 3 searches, 3 necks to find this base. So there's a lot of Dark Elixir here, even though I'm at Crystal 1, uh, there's a lot of Dark Elixir. That's uh, pretty easy to get as well. So what I'll do is, let's see, um... Okay, yeah, I got it. So first, I'm going to create that funnel, create create some spacing, spread out my barbarians here, open up that wall, and I'm going to send out one wall breaker. And the reason I'm going to send out that wall, one wall breaker is to check if there's anything inside that clan castle. Now I know there's nothing inside in there, and now I've created that space. And I'm going to do the same thing here, a few barbarians, and a few archers. Remove either one of these buildings is fine. Okay, there we go, we removed the barracks, and we've removed the dark elixir drill so now I'm just gonna use a few archers to start off here remove the laboratory that's out of range and these other structures here that are out of range so that's great just use a few troops for that and then what I'll do is spread out my barbarians so spread out my barbarians and then archers and right at the point when that wizard tower is distracted I'm gonna send out uh, wall breakers with the raid spell, open up the first layer. There was a giant bomb there, but that's fine. I'm going to use more waves of barbarians and archers and send them out. And then I'm going to send out my archer queen. As you can see, with the raid spell and the wall breakers that I sent out, I opened up both layers of walls. And now it's just going to be very easy for my troops to get that dark elixir storage. Awesome. So as you can see, I uh, have my barbarians and archers targeting it. And here, I'll just activate my queen's ability and head out with that dark elixir. And that's going to be 1540 Dark Elixir. Awesome. Okay, here we have a challenging Town Hall 9 base. Uh, but I have G-Barge this time with Giants, Barbarians, and Archers. And I'm going to show you how I attack this base. I actually skipped a lot of easy bases just, just to show you guys the more challenging uh, bases that I can attack with this composition. So here we have that uh, Clan Castle right there. So we're going to check for... Uh, we're gonna check if there's anything inside. It's right on my barbarian sends out a wall breaker And he's gonna pass the trigger radius. Okay, there's nothing inside that client castle. Awesome So here I'm gonna remove this army camp army camps have very little hit points So it doesn't take too long to take them out. So again for spacing remove that army camp as well a few barbarians and archers and That will do okay. So now we've created that space Let's see if we can avoid that archer tower. No, we can't avoid it. All right, that's fine, that's good. Uh, spread out my barbarian, spread out my giants around, open up the first layer with two wall breakers. And I have jump spell, jump spell works very good with uh, giants. So you wanna use jump spells if you can. Don't use too many spells because it's inefficient uh, to farm with too many spells. 
and then I'm going to use a raid spell to quickly uh, have them all jump inside the core, get inside, there's a giant bomb, that's fine. Only lost like, <laughs> like 15 archers, but that's fine. So as you can see, I've made it to the core and my troops are going to easily get that dark elixir storage and then my archer queen can uh, snipe the town hall right afterwards. So here I'm going to activate her ability and get that town hall as well. Awesome. So I got basically all the dark elixir in this attack. So 2500 with G Barge against the max defense town hall 9 base. Awesome. Okay, this time I'm going to share one of my favorite methods of farming Dark Elixir and that's with balloons, 8 balloons. Uh, so this only took me 2 searches, this wasn't like the second search uh, while searching. So we have the Dark Elixir right there in that storage. As you can see, these drills are pretty empty. That means that even though this guy has 1800 Dark Elixir, it's basically inside the Dark Elixir storage and the Town Hall. So there's like around like 300 or 400 Dark Elixir in the Town Hall and the rest inside that storage. So let's go for it. Even though this looks pretty intimidating, this base, I'm going to show you that even, even with these defenses, you can take them out. So let's check for bombs here. No bombs, great. Uh, empty spaces right there. Yeah. Okay, two giant bombs. That's just too predictable. And let's check over there. Nothing there. Where's the clan castle? Uh, doesn't he? He doesn't have a clan, but just to be safe, let's check. Cause even yeah, see, as you can see, you don't need a clan castle uh, to hide clan castle troops. And this time, I don't want to waste too many troops, so I'm just going to use a poison spell to remove them. I don't want to lose too many of my barbarians and archers. So we're just going to use a poison spell to quickly remove that threat. And now focus on attacking from the southern side. And I'm also going to remove that army camp again too. Uh, doesn't have that many hit points. It's going to require a few troops to do so to remove that army camp. And it's going to be important to do so so that I can create that space and have all my troops go straight towards that. Uh, dark elixir storage. Okay, have all the defenses distracted. Gonna send out my wall breakers, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send out my balloons, and then I'm also gonna send out two wall breakers and place a raid spell there. And I'm not gonna use my barbarian king because uh, I don't need him, as I'll show you. And here, don't have to use any more wall breakers, and that's gonna be it. Look at the raid spell and balloons who work. Those balloons are removing the defensive threats while my barbarians, archers, archer queen are doing work, taking out the dark elixir storage and the town hall at the same time. Perfect. So we're gonna head out. We're gonna get 1800 dark elixir plus 140 from the bonus, so that's around almost 2000 dark elixir, which is great. Awesome. Okay, that will be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that. Uh, if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't. And I'll have another episode coming up soon. So stay tuned. Later.